All right, so this is the first video where I put my mic on my shirt for the sake of not holding the mic right here because it does have a clip, so what's the point? And then I can actually stir my coffee and, and sip on it as I talk. All right, let's get straight into the video. I'm sick of the shoulds, okay? Today, I want to talk about society's shoulds. I'm sick of it. I don't want to hear them anymore. In, in this life, you will be told you should do this, you should do that. You should do this, that, and the third, right? I don't want to hear it anymore. Especially, and maybe a lot of my ladies out there can actually relate and understand where I'm coming from, depending on your situation, right? But especially as a 30-something-year-old woman with no kids, no husband, society tells you that you're doing something wrong, okay? I cannot explain to you how many times I've been asked by men and women, Oh, how many kids do you have? And when I say none, it's kind of like, excuse me? Well, when are you going to start having kids? Um, I don't know. Maybe never. <laughs> right? Like, I get to choose. But it's like, well, at your age, you should have kids. Do you have a husband? What does your husband think? But we can't, I can't live my life all the time for what people might think. You can't live your life like that all the time. I am currently 32 years old. I don't have a husband and I don't have children, but I am a cat mom of three. By society's norms, I'm a crazy cat lady, right? And anytime people hear, oh, you're, I don't have a husband, I don't have kids, I do have three cats, that's literally the phrase that people make. You're going to end up alone with cats, right? And here's my thing. If it, if it happens, so be it. I'm, I'm an incredibly happy person. I am very happy, and by society's norms, I should technically be unhappy and unfulfilled. But let me tell you something. Not having a husband doesn't make you lonely. And being married and having kids doesn't, make, doesn't mean you have good company. Okay? It's all about perspective, how you look at things. And when you actually study situations and see how people are actually living their life. I have a lot of friends who are married and have kids, and they wish they didn't. Okay, I don't live a life where I wish I did anything. I'm happy with who I am and I'm letting life play itself out. And I'm sick of the shoulds. I'm sick of women my age. I'm sick of childless women or women who aren't married and who are chasing their goals and going after their money, right? And going after the fulfillment that think the things that actually fulfill them, being made seem as if we're selfish, being made seem as if we're doing something wrong. Guys, we're living our life. Everybody has different goals. Everybody has different things that they want to accomplish. And I'm sick of the shoulds. I'm sick of this is what you should be striving for because this is your life purpose. I don't know my life purpose. I don't know why I'm here. And, and, and I work day in and day out to try and figure it out. And I journal and I talk to myself and I meet different people. I don't know my exact purpose. I just know that I'm trying to make it through this thing called life that I sometimes have no idea what I'm doing with. Do you know what I mean? So why would you judge somebody that's simply trying to live their life just like you, just like everybody else, because they're not doing what a society is telling them to do? But I'm happy, right? Allow people to live in their happiness. And we need to get away from these shoulds because times have changed so much, right? Technically, if we're talking about it. The internet should have never existed. Social media shouldn't be what it is, right? Because... These are things that we didn't really think a few years, not too long ago, that could actually even exist or happen to the extent that they're happening, right? We need to allow our minds to evolve. We need to allow our minds to, to reach a place where it's like, hey, things are changing. Things are not the same anymore. And as a woman, I am so happy to be living in this day and age where I actually have a voice, where sometimes it's still hard to put your voice out there because as a woman... When you're an assertive woman and you stand up for yourself, you're automatically a bitch. Well, my cat's moving my phone. Hold on. When you're an assertive woman and you put your foot down and you stand up for what you believe in, you're automatically considered, you know, a witch would a be. And yeah, in the minds of other people, that's what I might be. But I don't care because I believe I'm an incredibly kind, humble, loving person, understanding. I listen. I care about people until it comes to something that I need to actually put my foot down for until I feel like I'm being mistreated or, or treated unfairly in any type of way, then I will speak up. And that's, I love living in this day and age. And hopefully it only gets better from here where 
we realize that men and women are equals. I won't say biologically, okay? Listen carefully. We're very different in different ways, right? But in terms of we both deserve respect, in terms of we're both human and we deserve the respect that humans deserve, right? Because you're a man, you're no better than me. Because I'm a woman, I'm no better than you, you know? Are you biologically stronger than me? Yeah, right? Physically, as a woman, I have different strengths and I totally understand those things. I won't sit here and be like, women and men are exactly the same and everything you do, I can do as well. But just as a woman, I'm sick of the shoulds. I'm sick of being made any less than because I choose to live my life differently. I'm sick of being seen as a crazy cat lady because I like my, I love my cats, right? They are my kids. I wake up every morning to them. I feed them. I take them to the doctor when they're sick. But no, you need to birth a child in order to be considered any type of a mom, right? It's tiring. It really is. You feel like an outcast. I have felt like an outcast all my life. So I'm, I guess I'm not, I shouldn't be surprised. But sometimes I feel like it's a form of bullying without actually realizing it, where women are put under this magnifying glass of hate. You have to do this, right? And I don't want to. And I shouldn't have to. The one should is you should live your life and do the things that make you happy as long as you're not hurting anyone. And you should not be holding people to certain standards because that's what history has told us to do because that's what society has told us to do. You should be happy. If, if that means you, you don't have a couple if that means you don't have children, whatever that might mean for you. If you're a happy person, if your existence is a good one, what does anyone have to say about any of that, right? So I just want to get that out of my chest. It's tiring. It's tiring to live up to society's standards or, or to try to. No, I'm not interested in Mr. Gracias. Like, I, I don't want to do that. I'm happy. I live my life on my own terms. Yes, there's certain areas in my life that I'm stressed out about. There's a lot that I want to get done in my life. I had my period of healing. And let me tell you something. That period of healing turned me away from so many things that I should have been doing had I not gotten myself into certain situations. <laughs> Everything's a good experience, right? Everything's a learning experience. But I like my life as it is. And maybe one day someone will come into my life and make me not necessarily change my mind, but open my mind to something else. And now I'm not closed off to it, but I'm also not looking to live my life based on how society tells me that I should. And I don't think any of us should. So all my ladies out there, stay strong, stay strong, live life on your own terms. And you may get criticized left and right by men and by women, even though as women, we should be lifting each other up. We should recognize that as women, we're powerful. If you, if, if you want to live life a certain way, go for it. If that's what makes you happy, go for it. I'm all for it. I will support you. I will uplift you. Do the same for me. You know, Do the same for those of us who choose to live our lives differently because you know, we live life on our terms. There's nothing wrong with that. Like As women, we need to empower each other because life for a woman, for anybody, but speaking from a woman's perspective, a life for a woman is not easy. This shit is hard. This shit is hard work. Why would we make it any more difficult for ourselves? Just do you. Love you. Live life for you. And I understand that people are going to watch this video and say she's so selfish. I'm, I'm honestly one of the least selfish people you could meet. I'm so fucking selfless that it's to a fault sometimes right but when it comes to how i live my life that's on me that i'm selfish about and i don't mean that selfishly as in i don't want to have kids because i'm selfish i have my own reasons but i know people are going to comment that you're so selfish and you're going to live your life <laughs> being unhappy and this and this and that but you know what i'm happy right now I'm happy right now and I'm working towards building a life that I'm going to continue being happy about. And that's what I feel we should all be doing and we should be doing it unapologetically and love yourself and love your life and do you do what you got to do for you. Be happy for you and the rest will come. Allow the rest to come. Don't chase, attract, 
I want to attract the beautiful things that I want to me, right? Because I want to become love. I want to become all the good things that I want to come to me. Yeah. Let's just, we need to allow people to live their lives. That's all I got to say. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below and definitely subscribe to the channel for much, much more to come. I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye.